Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. This is Activated Earth Hot News with Synthstar555 and I would like to thank you so much for being over here. What we do, do over here is manifesting our own new earth reality. We pull on the current energies and find out what spirit, the universal angels, the benevolent beings, the councils of light, right, want us to know about our present energies, okay? Now, me, myself, my energy is a very powerful force. I have conquered fears. I have been transformed from the darkness into the marvelous light. And my expectations, they stay high. For I've been through enough pain to know that I can never go back and settle. There is a price for settling, okay? Sacrifice for your judgment. But anyways, I'm calling on all light brokers, star seed, earth angels, and indigo children to remind us it's time to unite. We can reach those who've been judged, who've been scorned, who've been left behind. So we don't attract miracles because we're lucky. We attract miracles because we sure enough do expect them, okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and start jumping into some messages. The universe loves you so very much. That's one thing they do want you to know. I want you to know it, so I'm just going to bring you that message right on away. All right? I feel like I want to pull a card from something over here, love and light. This is the love and light deck. Okay, so let's see what love and light deck want to say right now to light workers, star seed, earth angels, and indigo children, and see if we can get us some messages starting to form over here for us. Holy Spirit, holy angels, allow me to be the channel. This is by Doreen Virtue. Okay, this deck right here is by Doreen Virtue, and these two cards flew out here right away. So the first card is say, walk away from illusions and go towards the truth. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point me out the road for me to follow. Okay? So very important right now for us to follow your truth that your intuition is bringing you. Okay? And walk towards your truth and move away from anything that's causing some type of illusion that's really not. Um, that's confusion, you know, that is strife, anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once again, this card is just basically summing up what this first card said this card right here it is saying follow the path that's right for you god blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptations right so i feel like it's very important right now for us basically not to fall in any type of illusions knowing what our truth is knowing that your truth is that you may have manifested something that's a possibility and if you did right here follow that truth illuminate and walk away from things that is taking you away from all truth okay let's get one more card from this other deck right here this deck right here is called the saints and angels and i want to see what they want to say i've missed you guys i haven't been here in a couple days so i really didn't miss you guys so i know this is like a small platform over here and we get messages and we learn things about the universe about what god wants us to know our angels want us to know and so it's just a, it's just a great way over here to get more information for those truth seekers you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh yeah i forgot to mention to you guys that i'm having a sale not actually a sale but it's the love on um, candles and i also do have money candles both of these candles right here is available on my website and i'll put the link down below to my website but um both of these can they come with a special prayer and right now anybody that does make a purchase for any type of candles that i have on my website i am going to give a free sample of um the new body oils that i have launched so i will i will choose one randomly and send it to you so you can try one of the body oils okay but the money on um, candle right here say may prosperity flow freely through my life i sense a natural attraction to wealth and it's comfort let me embrace the pros the prop prosperity in all forms is what money candle says and then the love candle it says my love center my life and fill my heart and soul may the magic of love always inspire me to radiate warmth and caring to all those who have touched my life and there's beautiful messages right there right for these candles here all right <clears throat> Let's get a message right now. This deck right here that I'm pulling from is Saints and Angels. Let's see what they want to say as well. Right now, this is Light Workers, Earth Angels, and Indigo Children. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me to be the channel right here. 
Wow, car flips straight out just like that. Okay, so say you found it. Okay, wow, I believe this is true. So I'm feeling like here, like you found it. You found the truth and don't let anything sway you off of your truth. Okay, because you already found it. Lord, Lord have mercy, child. And there's a lot of purple in this card. So this card could be considering something surrounding a business opportunity. This purple also could be talking about um, psychic um, message that could be coming to you. Okay. Or maybe you found a perfect psychic or something like that. Okay. But this is saying commitment. It says guardian angel right here. Right. Be committed right here um, to your angels or your angels is very much committed to you. Is what I feel like. One more card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Light Workers, Star Seeds, Earth Angels, and Indigo Children. What is our message today? Today is um, Saturday, May the 30th that I'm actually recording this video. So this one says move. So some of you, um, this could be meaning so many things. Let me see, okay. You're a leader, it says right here. So I feel like that you're a leader right here. It's time to move into that. It's time to be committed to that, okay. So you have found your purpose for some of you. It could be for some of you. And with this this purple all over here, it could be something concerning a business, like I said before, or even psychic. Or there had to be psychic, um, but purple can represent psychic abilities, but purple could also could re represent anything spiritual, Reiki, um, nutritionist, uh, counselor, light work, not light worker, yeah, light worker. Um, what's the other word I was trying to say though? I wasn't trying to say light worker, but light worker definitely. Um and um leader okay so i feel like that it could be any of those things right there okay so yeah just follow what spirit is leading you to do knowing that you found your truth right now so for some of you for, for those who's here i feel like you found your truth right here okay already you may know what your life purpose is it could be a nudge that keep on nudging you to do something i feel like that could be what your life purpose actually is okay let's pull one card right here from the law of attraction um, prosperity and wealth affirmations that the universe wants you to say right now to help you bring about good things for you concerning wealth and prosperity. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's up, Master Peace with Light Workers, Star Seeds, Earth Angels, Indigo Children's right now? Three cards. Okay, that's one. Three cards, please. And they gave me the other two right there. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what they're saying here. And this one here is coming out. So we have the first one is ambition, okay? This card has said, I am ambitious and I do not procrastinate or waste time being negative, right? Waste of time being negative is going to waste time for your manifestation, okay? So you have to be ambitious knowing that what you're saying is your truth, okay? This is going to take practice. And every day, I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals, right? By what? By being ambition and by always believing, trusting, and knowing that the universe moves mountains out of the way for those of us who can simply believe it so. That's all we have to do is believe it so. The universe is going to bring it for you and you have to practice this, okay? As a rule of thumb, I always say give the universe up to three months. Sometimes it's quicker than that, okay? But usually give the universe up to three months, right? You speak it out to the universe. I am successful or I am a business owner. <clears throat> I, I do have a new car, whatever it could be, right? You believe it so, it is going to happen, okay? It's going to happen. Support right here. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams as well, right? So that's going to also be important. And another thing they said, no doubt, I will eventually achieve my success because I don't allow myself to doubt it, okay? So that was some beautiful messages that came out of there. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and let's get some messages now from the White Light Oracle. I want to see what this want to say right now to star seeds earth angels and indigo children holy spirit holy angels allowing me to be the channel to help us get one message right here for light brokers star seeds indigo children from the white light oracle star seeds earth angels indigo children Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Star Seeds, Earth Angels. 
Okay, I'm going to use the first card at the top. Okay, we're just going to get one card from here and see what is this spirit wants to say. Now, this word, it says Cupio Dissolvi. So, let's see if I can get a message for it. Okay. So, this um, card right here, it is saying, let me get this light one. Okay, so it's much better. All right. So, this card right here, it's time to let go. Things are working out in their own way. Trust that your heart is wise and is leading you on a soul healing journey and the right spiritual path. Spirit wants to bring you a blessing and a resolution, but you must let go and allow it to happen. Events are unfolding according to a higher plan. Even if your plans are going awry, know that all will come together at the right time and in the best way possible. So surrender your struggle and hold on to your faith. Example could be, right? All right. Say in two days, right? You need two thousand dollars. Example, okay. And if the universe has already told you it's so, then you have to have faith. I don't care if it's not here right now. I don't care. I don't care if it's not here right now. The universe has ways of pushing things out of the way, making things come to the front just in a nick of time. You have to believe it. You have to believe it. So you have to let go of any fears of that it's not going to work especially when the universe already told you this is yours okay you don't need to be in control in order to be safe and have things work out in the best possible way it's often spiritual deficiency when we do that okay the healing process for this right is to consider any problem you have been wrestling with or painful situation or interruption of events to which you are attached. If you are willing to do so, you can never set an intention to offer that attachment to spirit through this healing process. Place your hand on your heart and consciously connect to the flow of your breath. Close your eyes and rest for several moments. Imagine, feel, and intend that you are not aware of your heart experiencing it from the inside as though you were sitting in the middle of your heart chakra. From deep within the center of your heart, a pure white light, spiritual light, it begins to radiate outward, right? Okay. And feels joyful, uplifting, peaceful, and expansive, right? Now we practice bhavana, a Sanskrit word that means infusion. Allow the white light to gently infuse into your being, like a sacred tea subtly performing and enriching your soul. The white light is being absorbed into your cells, into your mind, into your heart. You feel more settled, peaceful, and blissful at this time, and the process then begins to unfold. Intend to release your offerings into the light, now letting it go from your heart. In the light, it can dissolve and transform. This process can be gentle and powerful. Since they you your offering and the light are one complete this practice with manulia a sacred word meaning immersion the complete absorption gratefully choose to let everything else go and settle into being one with the within the light take your time and gently emerge from your luminous contemplation when you're ready and ground yourself and you have completed this process right here so this is a definitely um, a, a healing process to help you right there, to um, rest, you know, to help you to help you to be releasing painful, right, situations, things that you've been wrestling with, right, letting things go, allowing the universe to just do what it needs to do. Okay, that's what I'm feeling like. So I feel like this was a, a nice message just that came out right here. And this reading right here was simply oracle messages. And I really do appreciate you all for being right here to find out more about our oracle part of the messages. And so the next reading that I will do will be a separate reading. And you can look out for the, the link that's going to be um, down below. And I'm going to pull cards from the Akasha records where we do find out more information about what 
the universe has a store for some ancient knowledge from us. And I will pull readings from divine feminine and divine masculine messages as well. Okay. So I thank you so much for being here right now. This is Saturday, May the 28th, 2020. And if you love the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, even share it. And namaste to all of you.